Morning Scammers, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the different options you have as an Iron Man in terms of making unfinished potions. Now, uh, Herd Lore is still a very basic skill for Iron Man, and it's required for almost everything, including PVM. And there's a process in Herd Lore where you have to take your grimy herb, clean it, add a vial of water to make an unfinished potion, and then once you have your unfinished potion, you can then make your potions. Now, the problem with this is that you don't get experience for making unfinished potions, except for the cleaning part. And it also takes a lot of time to do so, but there's different options at your disposal to save time. And I'm going to go over those options with you and also discuss um, equivalent in terms of GP per hour. And that is essentially a GP per hour rate of time saved uh, versus GP spent. Now, this will differ depending on your uh, Iron Man progression. If you're a low level, you might be more concerned about GP. If you're higher level, you might not care. But uh, I think this will give a good overview and you can make your own decision based on the numbers that I provide. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Let's start off with the Narda method, which is a method that everyone should be very aware of. And essentially what this method is, is if you have the hard diaries for a desert completed, you can talk to Narda, this NPC over here, where she will turn all your unfinished potions into finished potions, and she can also clean your, herb lore, your herbs for you. And each action costs 200 GP. So to clean a herb, it's 200 GP. And to make an unfinished potion, it's 200 GP. And remember, you need to have the vials of water in your inventory. Now, uh, this method is widely used by the Iron Man community because it saves a lot of time and it's essentially zero time. And this will be the baseline in terms of our calculations for cost per GP, assuming 200 GP to clean, 200 GP to make unfinished potions. The second method here for cleaning herbs is doing it manually. Now, the advantage of this method is you get full experience on cleaning the herb instead of Narda where you get no experience, which is good if you want to train herb lore. And it's actually efficient in the Iron Man skilling Discord to clean your herbs this way because the experience in herb lore is difficult to acquire. Another downside of this method though is it's very click intensive. For me personally, I struggle to do it for more than like 10 minutes straight. So I usually do it in segments. Now in terms of the calculations, and I'll go over the calculations at the end, but I'm just going to give a brief overview right now. Uh, you can do around 28 herbs in seven ticks. You can probably be faster if you have really good clicks. And this arounds, this sums up to around 24,000 herbs cleaned per hour. And we're gonna use that as our metric. This next method is a new method on the Arceus spellbook with the degrime spell. Now this method is significantly less click intensive than cleaning it manually, which is great. And also, uh, the disadvantage, however, is that you get half the experience in herb lore as opposed to cleaning it yourself. So depending on how much you care about herb lore, this is like a good middle ground between Narda and cleaning it manually. Now, in terms of the calculations, you can do 27 herbs in around 10 ticks. You can probably get a little faster, like 7, 8 ticks if you really sweat it. But at that point, you might as well just manually clean it. And assuming 10 ticks, it's around 16,000 herbs per hour, so still significantly fast. So this next method here is just making unfinished potions manually. Now, uh, for making unfinished potions, it's actually decent in terms of speed. Uh, you can make around 5,000 unfinished potions per hour. And um, that's, that's essentially all I have to say about this method. Uh, this method is really used often for lower levels, but uh, once you get the diaries done, I really do not recommend doing this anymore unless you're really stingy on uh, GP. But uh, I'm going to show you a second method, which uh, you might be able to consider. Now, the second method here is called the Pharaoh Tech, because one of my buddies, Iron Pharaoh, was the one that showed me this method. But essentially, there's a perk on the 99 Herblore Cape, where you can make unfinished potions with grimy herbs. Now, uh, <laughs> is it worth it? I'll show you in the, next, uh, in the next couple minutes when we go over the calculations. But uh, essentially, it's like a two for one. You clean herbs at the same time as making unfinished potions, essentially making the unfinished potions with zero time cleaning herbs. And you get full experience too. And you can get around 5,000 of these unfinished potions made per hour, like, like the unfinished potion method. So definitely 
better than the unfinished potion method, but we'll see if it's worth it. I guess now we can go over the calculations in better detail. Now, uh, essentially what I've assumed is that Narda is the golden throne that we're going to use all that we're going to reference our GP on and the Narda method costs 200 GP each for cleaning and for making potions. Now, in terms of cleaning herb lores, obviously the spell and the manually is significantly better. Now, you can see the GP save on the spell is 3.2 mil GP per hour and manually it's 4.8 mil GP per hour, which means if you're able to make more than that GP yourself, for example, killing Vorkath or doing Hydra, then it's better to use Narda. However, uh, Vorkath, an ex as an example, is around 2 mil raw GP per hour, which you can assume with good gear. Um, when I'm saying good gear, I mean essentially max gear. So even Vorkath, if you do Vorkath with a time save, it's still not enough GP to cover it. However, that depends on how you see Vorkath. For example, myself as a collection lock DGen, uh, I need to do Vorkath for green lock regardless. So that GP is essentially free for me. So for me, I would still clean the herbs manually because uh, the GP saved is good, but also the experience you get cleaning the herb is worth a lot of money for me. And you have to remember that using the spell, it must it, it is easier, but you get half the experience in cleaning herbs. So I would say, personally for me, cleaning the herbs yourself is the best. Now, if you go into the making unfinished potions, there's two options here. You can do it manually or you can pay for Narda. And you can see the GP is 1 million GP saves per hour if you do it manually. Now, 1 mil GP is still a lot of money, but uh, I can easily make that doing Vorkath, grinding Hydra, doing Barrage Slayer, whatever. So making the unfinished potions is 100% worth it, in my opinion. And I think every Iron Man should be doing it. Now, the only exception to that is if you're lower level and you don't have the diary yet, uh, you, you might want to do it yourself. But uh, I definitely recommend rushing to do it with Narda because the time save is huge. Now, the combination method, which is the Feral tech that I spoke about, that's actually 2 mil GP saved per hour, which is actually still decent. Uh, it's equivalent in terms of like Vorkath or Hydra in terms of money that you save. So if you really do not like making money or if you're really broke and you would like to save the money for blood runes or for soul runes or whatever the GP reason is or smithing or crafting, it's definitely a good option, but you have to remember that the requirement for the Feral Tech is to have 99 Herblore already. And most irons don't really do Herblore post-99, so it's a very niche usage. But uh, it's still okay. Uh, definitely better than making unfinished potions. But uh, I still think that uh, you should go with manually cleaning and then paying Narda. Well, boys, this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was insightful for you in terms of understanding the unfinished potion section on Herblore. Now, the reason why I did this video is because I had a lot of questions from some friends where they would be, one of them would be cleaning manually, one would be using the spell, one would be paying Narda, one would, and it was all over the place. And I also had a debate with Pharaoh about the Pharaoh tech where he thought it was significantly better. And uh, doing the calcs, it actually still is decent, but it's not as good as I expected. But I was really surprised in terms of manually cleaning, how efficient that is in terms of GP saved. So I'm definitely going to be doing manually cleaning. I know in the past I've cleaned it uh, by paying Narda a couple times when I was really lazy for skilling comps. But uh, lesson learned, don't do that. And um, yeah, so make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any ideas for guides in the future, leave them down below. I think this is a very unique guide. Not many people have done a guide like this. Uh, I've seen some discussions here and there, but I I'm glad that I can actually show numbers and present it in a decently looking table, which wasn't that intense. It didn't take me that much time, but hey, hopefully you enjoyed.